When you look up at the night sky, you can clearly see innumerable stars. But people ask all the time, how come the black skies of the moon contain no stars in the moon landing photos or photos from other missions? This objection is one of the prime issues raised by a vocal minority who think that the moon landing was all an elaborate hoax filmed on a soundstage in Hollywood. The stars aren't visible because they are too faint. An astronaut in their white spacesuit, for example, would appear quite bright, so they must be careful not to overexpose the pictures. It's like when you try to photograph someone under a dark sky. For the person to be perfectly exposed, you have to use some light source. And when you do that, there's no way to see the stars in the background. For stars to appear bright, you need long exposures and wide open apertures. After all, no astronaut has ever walked on the moon's surface at nighttime. Our daytime sky is bright because of the diffusion of light through the atmosphere. On the moon, there's no atmosphere to spread the light around, and the sky will appear black at midday. As you know, you can't see stars at midday when the sun is in the sky. During the day, the glow from the sun would completely outshine the stars. The light from the sun is so strong that the eyes and the cameras aren't accommodated to see such faint objects as stars, except a few brightest ones, maybe. But if you can hide in a shadow so that no light reflection from the surface is visible from your viewpoint, then you will be able to see stars even during the day. Astronauts have done just that, and there are also photos taken from the moon that show lots of stars. Here's a photo of a partially lit Earth captured from the far ultraviolet camera on Apollo 16. Stars are visible in the background. And this is another image captured with the far ultraviolet camera slash spectrograph during Apollo 16.